Hey everyone. Today we're going to have a look at just approaching junctions, but specifically how people observe coming up to junctions. This is one thing that I'm forever having to talk to my instructors about and talk to my pupils about. People tend to arrive at the junction and then start looking, whereas they should be looking on the approach. We get taught as we're approaching these junctions to apply a mirror signal manoeuvre routine. Some people will know mirror signal manoeuvre expanded a little touch to mirror signal and then the manoeuvre split into three further stages of position, speed and look. And people often think that this look only happens at the very last moment coming into junctions. And this is a big mistake. And this is what I'm going to try and help you with today. This doesn't just apply to T-junctions. It should be used on any junction, including roundabouts. I'm going to give you two examples. This first approach that I'm going to do, I'm going to arrive at the junction, then I'm going to look. And just have a notice on how much you can actually see. I know that sounds pretty obvious. I'll try and explain. So, I'm going to do a left turn. And all I'm doing, I'm just staring at that giveaway line in front, which tells me absolutely nothing. I don't know what gear to get. Now I do, because I've virtually stopped. And then I've got to look. And then, that's probably an absolute classic. If I had have been looking on the approach there, I probably would have been able to take that space a little bit sooner. So, staring at the giveaway line as you're coming up, and not observing until you arrive there, cause it causes yourself to be hesitant, it causes a wrong selection of gears sometimes because you don't know what's going on and it also rushes the pupil because you've got more to do in a shorter space of time. So it's not brilliant. So let's try and do this one properly. I'm going to be looking on the approach and trying to work out what's happening a lot lot sooner. Normal things. And then I'm trying to look to the right, I'm trying to look to the left. I can't see, so I know that I'm going to be choosing first, even though I've done the junction before. And I'm looking quickly on the approach, and I can move. So it allowed me to keep the car moving. It also helped my positioning to be spot on. People often swing wide when they're doing turns, and that's quite simply because they haven't looked left enough. I'll put a link up to some of my steering videos. But, if you're looking on the approach, you're not then panicked. I had plenty of time to look, assess, decide, and finally do the actual emerge or the act. If you're doing junctions as well, the most dangerous part is as you're coming out through the giveaway line. So if you think, if you're doing your observations at the very last moment, you're actually making things dangerous. So when should you start looking when you're approaching a junction? Well, my advice would be, once you've recognised the junction, you've checked your mirrors, and you've decided whether you need to signal or not, start looking from then. Some junctions are going to be really open, you'll be able to make your decision really early, whether it's clear or not. And some are going to be closed, where you've got maybe buildings or houses or fences or trees around, and you can't make your decision. Well, for something like that, you know you're going to have to go a lot, lot slower. But just try not to leave it to the very end. Try not to arrive and then start looking. So have a look with this one. Checked, I've signalled, and now already I'm trying to assess to see whether I can see over those walls, both sides, and watch how quickly I look as well. Don't leave one area staring for too long. Make sure you're constantly looking, and even when you decide to go, keep looking, 
as things change. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. Above all anything else, keep safe and keep learning.